Hi, I'm Matt Hall. I'm 47 years old. I'm from Mountain View, California. I've been a high school teacher, Japanese, for 19 years. I started juggling when I was 27. I was working at the Japanese consulate in Chicago. I went across the street and bought Charlie Dancy's Encyclopedia of Ball Juggling. Resolved to learn every trick in the book. Six years later, I won the silver medal at the IJA World Championships. I've been, uh, certainly I'm a high school teacher, but I've also been a paid instructor on tour for Cirque du Soleil's Kidam, specifically for their Diablo act. Currently, I'm practicing every day for approximately 60 to 90 minutes. My warm up routine is to pick the easiest prop that I do and work on that first, and that warms you up naturally with juggling movement. And then I move on to other objects that might be heavier or d demand more physical effort, like cigar boxes or clubs. I always start with tennis ball and can. For any trick I really want to get solid and, and put into my show, I usually practice it in 10 repetitions. And it, I don't go any more than 10 repetitions. So if I get zero out of 10, move on to the next trick. And it's nice to watch the progression of, hey, I got it one out of 10. Well, now I'm at six out of 10. And when I get it to 10 out of 10, it's ready for the show. When it comes to really building up a trick, I think the best method is the pyramid method which has been described before by many people. And essentially what you're talking about is repetitions of 20 repetitions, then 10 repetitions, five repetitions, and then one repetition, which with the 20 repetitions being of a lowest number of throws, say five throws, and then 10 repetitions of 10 throws, or five repetitions of 15 throws, and then one repetition of 20 throws. If you can get through that pyramid and be successful, the trick is ready for the stage, absolutely. Uh, because I'm not a professional, I'm kind of a hobbyist, and my rep uh, in the juggling world seems to be the every man who's just out there trying his hardest to do something crazy, the Forrest Gump of juggling. I, I will usually try a trick, and when I get it about 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, I'll put it in. That's much too soon if you really want to be a professional or really be confident and be respectful of your audience. Last night, I did a trick that I could probably do 6 out of 10, and it took me 18 tries on stage. I got it, but 18 tries is too much. Vary your practice, and when I say vary your practice, I don't mean do things in a different order. Actually, I suggest doing the same thing every day. I always start with tennis ball and can, then I move on to cigar boxes, then clubs, then balls, and Diablo. I do that order the same every time. But I might change up some tricks, because you want to keep it fresh. And don't be afraid to put a prop down if it's not working. Some days I'll do one attempt of one trick, and if it feels good and works, I put it down because I want to be efficient with my practice. If you have unlimited time, try every trick for 10 tries. I'm 47, I've been a high school teacher, so I have a limited time and energy. So if the five ball mills mess, I get a run of 10 cycles on the first attempt, I'm done with five ball mills for that day. If you do a Google search for Matt Hall and juggling, I'm the first result. My website is Juggle Sensei, so certainly if you typed in Juggle Sensei into Google, you'd also find my website very easily. On my website, I have all my workshops that I teach at various festivals in PDF format, the entire sequence of instruction, tricks, pedagogy. If you're interested in, you can start with those and read those, and then of course, turn to YouTube. Obviously, it's a great resource. And last but not least, I would recommend reading a Talent is Overrated by Jeff Colvin and the Five Principles of Deliberate Practice, which are, Deliberate Practice is designed by experts. It is easily repeatable. Feedback on your performance is readily available. It is mentally demanding and it is not much fun. There is no such thing as talent. I started when I was 27, I'm 47 now, and my best juggling is still ahead of me if I follow the techniques of deliberate practice and do the work and put in the time. There are no shortcuts.